follow me on my journey with this van as I pack it time and time again with my photo booth, bartending, and rental businesses. Hey guys, Lee here. Uh, today I want to talk photo booths um, and especially about uh, starting a photo booth. So the time to start a photo booth is now. Uh, they're, they're cheaper to start up. Uh, you don't even need a printer nowadays because of all the digital photo booth options. So um, you've seen my photo booths like, like this. Um, it's in the case there. That's one of my uh, nicer enclosed digital photo booths, but I just want to show you basically what's inside a photo booth. So uh, this is a, uh, an i5 Acer Aspire with a, um, uh, a touch screen. And this is a DSLR camera with just a little hot shoe mount on top that has the PC sync cord with it. And it hooks up to the light. So the light, this is just an $80 light on eBay, a newer uh, 250 watts. So if you look up monolight strobe, uh, basically anything works. And then there's a program on here called DSLR booth. I just booted up the computer, it went straight into the program. And it's so simple. I turn on the camera and then I just push the button and it starts taking photos. Go out and start your photo booth business now. If you are thinking about it, download the program and uh, give it a try on your computer. Uh, photo booths are still a hot item, so the time is now. So all you need to do is basically take this setup. Um, you can even run this setup like this. I've, I ran this setup uh, off of a table for uh, four years before I ever had uh, uh, photo booths inside uh, cases. So, uh, yeah. And people like to argue photo booths are dead. I assure you, photo booths are not dead. And digital photo booths are hotter than ever now. People love the fact that you can just uh, take a picture and it sends straight to your phone. I take bookings all the time. Uh, I have... I have lots of photo booths and they're constantly going out. So whoever says they're not, uh, uh, that photo booths are dead, uh, go to a wedding where you don't see a photo booth lined up like crazy. Screen. And here it is. Like amazing. So there is no reason, <laughs> subscribe, like and subscribe. So there's no reason why um, you can't start a photo booth business. I mean, if you don't want to, fair enough, but uh, there's, there's so much extra money in it. So this is a photo booth in its rawest form, right? So you've got the camera, you've got the, uh, the computer with the touch screen, and then you've got the, uh, the light. You can add a printer, but you definitely don't have to. And then, uh, you know, if you want to get more lucrative, all you do is take this stuff and figure out how to put it inside a box. And that's what these photo booths are. So we're going to take this last photo and then we're going to uh, uh, send a picture to the cell phone. So Look at this, you can scan the QR code and the picture will instantly pop up. You can text the pictures, email the pictures, or print if you have a printer hooked up. Um, so I'm just gonna text the pictures and 
you see a little thing pops up that says text the picture so you click on it and a little keypad pops up and you just enter your number So the beauty of this is that uh, they offer a free trial of this program. So you could actually just take, uh, go to dslrbooth.com, download a copy of this program onto your laptop. So if you have i5 or above computer that has a webcam, you can just start testing out the program and, uh, and feel it out, find out how easy it is. So it's super so easy. You can password protect it. I'll throw in my password. And then see you get to a user screen and then you've got all of your options there and you can play around with the booth. You can set different menu screens and you can set it to uh, show different pictures when it uh, flashes. Um, you can make different templates for printing. Uh, you, you, they have a design editor right in here. You can take anything you want and just move it around. It's, uh, it's all right there in the program and it's free. And then registering was like 200 bucks per photo booth. So this right here is the same setup. It's just a camera, a touch screen and a computer uh, just inside a, a nice looking box with a, with a decal on the side. And the, the light just gets mounted on top. So it's, it's very simple to put one together if you know how to build a box. And then you just, just hook all these things up. And they all just work together, so. All right, guys, let's uh, find DSLR booth here. DSLR booth. So, perfect, download free trial right there on Bing. And then just click free trial, and then just click download for Windows. So you click that. And then you just put in your option, um, I am a blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're just gathering this data for whatever. It's not like you're going to put the wrong thing in. So I am a do it yourself photographer, whatever. And then just put your camera model in and put the, the email address that you want your account registered under if you choose to register the program and then download. It's as simple as that. And you can, uh, uh, have it on your computer to play around with as long as you want. And then, um, uh, if you decide to register it, then you have it. So uh, the only downfall of the trial program is that there is watermarks on the photos. So uh, you can fully play with the program. It's amazing. And the best thing about photo booths is they advertise for themselves. I just had um, a photo booth go out on the weekend and I've got two gigs since Saturday from that photo booth. I've had people going, oh, I saw this photo booth at the event and I contacted the bride and she gave me information. Can I book? And this happens a lot over, uh, over weekends. I mean, people just love them. And if you price them decently, uh, the bookings will come in. Okay, guys, everyone seems to be wondering about the photo booth. So I'll give you a little bit of the lowdown. So um, for photo booths, um, for my build, um, it's uh, about two feet by two feet um, on this particular one. Uh, this is a 19 inch canvas, C-A-N-V-Y-S touchscreen. Um, I found it in a pawn shop for 60 bucks. I actually found two of them. So, um, yep, the camera is a uh, just a DSLR camera. It's a Canon T3i, um, this particular one, but you can use uh, most Canon models. Um, and I bought it for 150 bucks, again, at a pawn shop. Um, the decals cost me five bucks each. Um, and I basically just uh, grabbed an image online and then I um, took the background out. So I made it a PNG image. Uh, I've got another video online how to take the background out uh, using Magic Eraser. It's an app. Um, okay, so this top little part here is um, it's a mini tripod light stand it cost me 15 bucks and then i just took a little tool which is um a uh, a metal cutter 
and you just kind of clasp it on and you twist it around and it just uh, cuts the metal pole. And then I just uh, mounted it on top. So um, the, the base here is made of HDPE, so puck board. You can get this from um, like a plywood store or specialty order from um, probably the hardware store. Um, I believe that a big, this was one or two pieces. I think they were about 75 bucks a piece for a four by eight piece. Um, so yeah, you basically just build a box and stick the stuff in it. So touch screen, um, camera, and then going inside the booth again. I don't wanna unplug anything. I'm currently uploading photos for a client. So yeah, going inside the booth, um, did I mention it's 12 inches this way? So you, you want it to be sturdy enough that it doesn't fall over. Uh, these fans I actually bought from uh, Dollarama and uh, they were four bucks each and they had like, I don't know, 16 in stock or something like that. And I just bought them all so that if anything poops out, I could just quickly uh, change out to a new fan. And they look awesome with the glowing blue. Uh, I feel it, it looks sharp on the white. So in the back here, so I basically just slapped everything in. So I have a, a small, um, small form factor computer. Um, you can use any Windows computer uh, or you can use Mac computers. Windows is just cheaper and I like Windows better. Um, as long as it, it has a minimum i5 processor and minimum four gigabytes of RAM. So um, that's the minimums for the photo booth program to work, which is DSLR booth. Um, okay, so that's mounted in there. I actually just took some um, some pop crates from 600 milliliter bottles and I took my Sawzall and I just cut out um, a space for the, uh, the computer to sit in there so it doesn't move inside the box. So, I mean, it's all very homemade, but no one cares and it actually doesn't look that bad. Um, I put a wood shelf in there. I just screwed it on and then just mounted the touchscreen inside and then put the camera on top. So there's um, a hot shoe mount on top of the camera that um, runs the camera to the flash. And it's called a PC sync cord that, uh, that runs from the camera to the flash and tells it when to go. There's a little power bar up there that has everything plugged in in here. Um, yeah, it's it. There's not much more to it than than that. Um, that's that's the build basically. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll be pumping out videos like crazy.